Hey guys, so this is a video of a simple everyday makeup look, nothing too crazy, really natural, almost like no makeup, but of course you could tell I have on makeup, like when you wasn't really trying too hard, but you tried real hard to make sure it looked real. Um, yeah, this is the finished look. Enjoy, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications so you can be notified as soon as I post taking vitamins all right i think i'm ready so first i'm gonna start off with some vaseline for my lips i have like chronic dry skin and in two minutes, somebody's like, yo, you need to re-up. And in my head, I'm like, I did it five minutes ago. I mean, two minutes ago, but I'm not gonna let you know. I'm going to moisturize my face with Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Face Cream. This is my favorite. Fresh is not like for sensitive skin per se, but is for sensitive skin like it's okay it's gentle it's gentle so it's not necessarily for sensitive skin but it's more on the gentle side and i have the hydrating one even if you have oily skin you still need to hydrate your face like people think like no i don't need no hydration no you still do boo boo just like you still need sunscreen in the winter cover effects sunscreen and I, the thing I love about this, it's the transparent one. Let's see if you could see it. Transparent is especially good for brown skin or any type of like melanin skin. If you're tan, brown, dark skin, you wanna get transparent sunscreen, not the regular one, because it'll show like a white cast. I get really dry on my eyebrows and my forehead. I want to say T-zone. I get dry on my T-zone, so my nose too, like on the side. I left my primer at home, so I'm just going to use a Cover FX primer. It is Skin Prep Anti-Aging. What primer is going to do is going to prepare your face for the makeup. And it's going to keep the makeup longer throughout the day. Sometimes you can get blurring ones that blurs out any fine lines or your pores. It just depends. I really like the Benefit Pore Professional Primer. And I also like Smashbox's primer. But I'm gonna try this one today because like I said, I'm not at home. So I don't have all my makeup and skincare stuff. The disclaimer, my hair needs washing. It's been like, okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say how long it's been. But it's crusty, don't be like, ooh. Her tutorial was alright, but the crustiness, like, I know. I know it's crusty. What are you gonna do? <laughs> Sorry. I'm using Goof Proof Brow Pencil by Benefit Cosmetics. This is the one with the slanted tip, and it's retractable. You can push it up, you can push it back down. This is a everyday look, so I'm not gonna use my dip brow. I'm just gonna use this. Hopefully no flakes come. Gonna underline it. I'm not gonna start up here where my eyebrows start. I'm gonna go a little over here. And I have a super light hand. The further you put your fingers back, the lighter your hand is. I did it a little over my natural tail. And now that I have my underline, just reminding you I did an underline over here. I'm gonna do some hair-like strokes. Now I'm gonna get a little closer. 
to the front. I'm using a tiny bit of a heavier hand. That's my brother. When I get to the front, I'm even more gentle. So I don't have an underline there, but I'm gonna put some strokes here. Now, just gonna reinforce what I did with the spoolie. Just in case some parts were harsh, the spoolie's gonna take care of that. Taking the point to do the top line. I'm not gonna go over here again. I'm gonna be a little back here. I'm gonna lift this arch right here a little bit. So I'm gonna draw a line a little bit over. Just because I have really thin eyebrows. So I'm making a whole fake eyebrow on top here. It's looking a little crazy, too natural, I know. But we didn't conceal it yet. We got some time. Brows take so long. I see why everyone does it off camera. I'm gonna go in with LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color, I was gonna say foam, toffee. Just gonna underline it to clean up our work. Can clean it up with a mini brush. I don't have any of my brushes at my parents' house, so. I'm gonna start with my finger. So I'm gonna do the Laura Mercier. Candle Glow Soft Luminous Foundation in the color Nutmeg. This is a 30 milliliter bottle. My sponge is a little dry, I'm gonna damp it. So. So we're gonna take some pumps of this, depending on the coverage you want. I think this is pretty buildable. Depending on the coverage you want, we'll tell you how much pumps you need. I don't really, I'm not really into the full, full coverage. So I just did one pump and a half. So this is like one pump, this is a half a pump. Then you wanna rub it into your skin cause it warms it up. You know like with almost every foundation, it comes out so orange at first, then it takes time. You can speed it up a little when you warm it up on your skin. After I do that, I do some dots. And when I do here, I push it up towards the top. I don't blend it downwards towards my cheekbone. I really want more coverage up here under my eye. Mmm, this was a good choice. It looks like I have nothing on. If you do have a lot of blemishes, and you do want them to be covered, but you still want to do a light foundation, you can conceal the blemishes first, then do this. I'm gonna set my foundation with Sasha Buttercup. I think this is a Trinidadian setting powder. No flashback. Um, I use very little to set my foundation. I use a lot for my concealer though. So this is my Sephora Pro Mini Airbrush, 55.5. Perfect for powders. Just dusting, not baking. Or getting too crazy. You ever do your makeup and you're like, what? and then at the end of the day or halfway through, you're like, mm, this is not how I looked. Then you have to super face tune your pictures. Just cut down half the time if you set as you go. Now we're gonna go in with some concealer. This is Tarte Double Duty Beauty. Oh shit, 
Taki mushrooms. This is Tarte Shape Tape in the color Deep Sand. This thing, my pores be invisible. I'm gonna use my mirror. Depending on your face shape, that's how you want to place your concealer. I want this part to be a little bit more narrow, so I'm going to do like a triangle shape. So when the light hits it, it's going to pull all your attention to here. If you want your face, to, if your face is already really narrow, my face is narrow, but if you want it to be wider, you drag it out and kind of do a curve. For people that ask, like, girl, you said soft glam, you did a uh, no makeup makeup look. So maybe I'll brighten this up a little bit. That's what I do. My nose, I wanna make it a little bit more narrow. So I'm gonna push the concealer here and push it here. Now, when I do my edges, I'm pushing it in because I want to pull the light here. And I want to get the most coverage here, so I'm pushing my sponge in. Let me just double check because this thing. Now that we've like blended our concealer, pushing it inwards, I'm going to turn my sponge a little bit and just buff out the original triangle-ish stuff I put. Now I can clean that up. I wanted to make sure I got most of the product towards my little right triangle zone, but now that I finished blending that, I can buff out the outside. Okay, I'm gonna add some, I'm gonna add some toffee. Just right here. So this one is a little lighter than the shape tape in the deep sand. If you wanna do the no makeup, like if I wasn't doing this video, I would've kept it with the shape tape sand and then set it. But since I'm, I didn't title this no makeup look, I'll make it brighter a little bit. It's still gonna look natural, but I'll add a little oomph. And like I said, I'm just going to push it where I want it first, and then I'll buff out the edges of the shape that I made. And be very gentle with your face. I know they say beat, but just be gentle. So like you could see that little toffee I put here is giving it more of a, a makeup look. Okay, now that I focused on the coloring in the triangle, now I can buff the outside of where it was. Without a care, I'm just gonna go over. I'm gonna go back in with the Sasha. I'm going to set. Still trying to keep that triangle face. Triangle face. Oh, this is not a... <laughs> All right, I was trying to keep a triangle shape. Um, you can set it different ways. You can dust it. I only dust my foundation. I I really set and bake my under eye because my under eye, no matter what concealer, I am start sweating and my concealer starts to move and then I don't look porcelain like I wanted to. So I go heavy on the powder here. I'm going to contour with LA Girl Pro in the color. Oh, Take off the plastic, I can see. Duh. Espresso. I should have waited to put the... I should have waited to contour before I put the powder. Okay, what I always do is co highlight, contour, and then do the powder. I made a mistake. You can go darker with your highlight. I mean, your contour. 
but I find that every time I go darker it looks muddy so I choose espresso because it's just like a tiny 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 bit darker but you can go even darker if you like good at contouring and it never looks muddy do a darker color so the the concealer we put here stretched out the face and has all the attention there now we need to chisel it up a little bit to add more bone structure so anytime you do a highlight you need to contour it don't have to it doesn't have to be blunt it could be little but if you're gonna do a highlight you have to contour or else it's just gonna make your whole face look wide I like to contour a little bit up because if you go too low it might look like a five o'clock shadow nothing's wrong with that if you like that The Sasha's already working, giving me that airbrushed look. Where's my pores? Yeah. So now I'm gonna go in a little circle motions because it's looking like a sharp line. So I focus on the position first, then I do like the blending later. So now I'm gonna use this part of my beauty blender. <clears throat> Whoa, this is real techniques. I'm sorry for the false advertisement. I call it a beauty, spider, beauty blender all the time now, but... I'm gonna carve out that line right there. Oh, it's the mark. If I do a sh powder all the way down here, I can leave it for one second. It's gonna have a white cast. So I just do a little bit. I just keep it back here. I'm cutting that fake cheekbone I added. If your skin takes well to powders in this area, by all means you can do a whole line all the way up to here. I did like a little ball here and this one is just a line I'm just pressing lightly I'm gonna turn my sponge a little bit to get less product up here and usually I would have a small brush and I would bring in my powder closer to my contour lines the contour is the dark line but I don't have my brushes. So I'm gonna try my luck with the beauty blender. So I'm not covering the dark line I made. I'm just literally right behind it. I usually use a skinny brush for this, but I'm trying with the beauty blender. Because this is what happens in real life. You don't always have your tools. Now I can brush this off. I'm going to use a Clinique brush in the color Melon Pop. I'm going to use my powder brush. This adds like a pretty subtle pink. I would use a much deeper color if I was going out. You're going to hear me say that throughout this whole thing. Just to remind you why I'm going really soft. I think it's the lighting. I'm gonna add a little bit of a deeper color. After all, this is my Morphe Natural Glow in Morphe 350 palette, 350. I'm gonna go in with this color here. It's a warm reddish copperish color Ooh, the blush looks so pretty in the mirror so it's just the camera playing tricks i'll still be light i'll be extra light with this some highlight this is mac global glow
This is a champagne goldish color. So my contour is down here, my blush is here, and my highlight's gonna go right on top of it. The highlight's gonna give the 3D pop effect of that fake, bony creative. It's gonna make me look more dimensional. It's really a lot about shapes and light. Oh, this is my Sephora fan brush. It just says fan on it. You can curve it a little if you want and get under that eyebrow. Natural glow. Putting some more for my nose. And the invisible line here adds a little dip if you want that little dip in your nose that you can't see on this camera. But I can see it over here. I have two of these, by the way. Should have got one in a different color so you guys can know. So I'm gonna set my face with NYX. In NYX Matte Finish Finny Matte Setting Spray. This kind of melts the makeup faster. You know your skin naturally warms up the makeup, this kind of speeds that up. And it also sets your makeup in place. So we had the Sasha powder that set the makeup, we have primer that set our makeup in place. We had Sasha setting powder that keeps your makeup in place because makeup moves as your face gets more moisturized, warmer, sweatier, whatever it moves, it travels. And now we're gonna add another setting tool. I do it before my eyeliner, because I don't want my eyeliner to be wet. Sometimes. And I like to fan it. So that white cast is kind of gone. It looks more like a natural deep color and then the little white color to make it look like it has some dimension here. Who the highlight? Where's my pores, boo? My face looks like. So we're gonna go into some eyes. I'm using Epic Ink Liner. This is my favorite. It's in the color black and it's waterproof. Because my eyes tears, I wear contact. My eyes tear, I wear contacts. I'm not gonna play myself in this camera. I start back here and then I pull it in. I don't go like this and then out because then I don't know where it's going. I start at the point I want and then I drag it to my line. drama smaller mascaras hold so much product on your brush because it's so tiny that um big mascaras always dry out so I'm just gonna do this and I like to tilt my face upwards to ensure that I'm getting the root of my non-existent lashes and not getting it on my lid. So I just tilt and I look down. Because when I tilt, I look down. As opposed to going like this, then you might make mistakes. I hope nothing's in my nose right now. This is in the Lash Style Mousse. My wings are a little bit questionable. <laughs> Where's my liner? Looks like I didn't bring it. I should title this video, How to Improvise When You Don't Have a Camera, Makeup Bag, and All Your Brushes. 
I'm lining with my brow pencil. I'm gonna go with NYX Butter Gloss in the color Sunday Mimosa. It's like a super bright pink, but if you use like a really dark liner and just keep it in the center, it's not too bad. Pigmented. But just focus it in the center. Gotta do the inner corners with my finger. They're probably very queen. Sis, you could have waited. Instead of giving us this mid video. This is just literally what really happens. But this is the look. So you can just see it in a better light.